so um, another video for you, uh, this time a bit stronger. So some of my students have asked for longer and stronger. So that's what we'll do. Um, but just be really mindful that um, undoubtedly all of our practice will have changed during lockdown. Um, we haven't got the opportunity to necessarily practice with our um, regular teachers unless you happen to live with them, which would be brilliant. <laughs> um, we might be carrying stress or tension in our bodies in a different way or um, all sorts of reasons why um, things might be showing up in our bodies in different ways. So meet yourself where you are today and be really um, present to the experience of your practice as it is today um, and enjoy. We're going to start in Sukhasana, the easy pose. So cross legged, find a seat on your mat and sit nice and tall. And just as we start to settle in, lower the gaze or close the eyes if that feels okay. And take a deep inhale and a sigh to exhale. And we'll do one more like that, breathe in. And sigh to exhale. And then just take a moment to just notice the body. Notice the soles of the feet, the edges of the feet on the mat. Notice any sensations around the hips. And see if you can soften a little bit. And then lifting up and out of the waist. To bring a sense of lightness. But at the same time, being mindful not to pinch in with the shoulder blades, being mindful not to squeeze the shoulder blades together, keeping the back nice and broad and the chest nice and open. And then noticing the jaw and the skin around the eyes and the forehead just noticing whether there's unnecessary tension there. And whether you can dial that down a little bit. And then just bringing our awareness to our breathing. So we'll breathe in for two, three, four, and exhale for two, three, four, breathe in, and breathe out for two, three, four, and breathe in, and breathe out. Breathing in and breathing out. And breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in, bring the fingertips to the mat behind you, and lift the chest up towards the ceiling. And take a few breaths here. And we're aiming to lift the chest without squashing into the back. So we're trying to keep space around the back of the body as well. And on your next exhale, start to bring the hands forwards and fold the body over the legs. 
but we're trying to keep the tailbone moving down towards the mat as well. So we're stretching out the back of the body, breathing here. On your next inhale, coming all the way back up and just swapping the cross of the legs, so bring the other leg in front, bring the fingertips behind you and lift the chest towards the ceiling. Breathing here. And breathing out, starting to fold forwards, bring, folding the body down over the legs. Start to move forwards onto hands and knees. So bring the wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. But from here, we're going to come straight up into our downward facing dog. So start to lift the hips up towards the ceiling. We're not going to worry too much about lengthening into the legs at this point. We're thinking about lengthening into the sides of the body. So finding length in the, in the spine, in the torso. Just being quite playful here in our first downward facing dog. Maybe moving the stretch more deeply into one leg, bending into one knee. And just noticing what happens as we change that over to the other leg. So being mindful that we're not just paddling the feet, that it's a little bit of a curious play around with what happens when we move the body. And then moving into the other leg. And then finding stillness in our downward facing dog. And we'll take some really clear connected breaths, breathing in. Exhale for one. Inhale, exhale two, breathe in, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, breathe in. Exhale, five, soften the knees, take the gaze to the top of the mat, and then breathe in, walk the feet up towards the hands. And then exhale, come to a forward fold. And take a breath here. Let the top of the head hang down towards the mat. And breathe in, come all the way up to standing. And reach the arms up towards the ceiling, look up to the hands. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart centre. We'll get ready to flow. Breathe in, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forwards, hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forwards again. Inhale, come all the way back up to standing, reach the arms up, look up. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart centre. Breathe in, breath and movement. Inhale, look up, arms up. Exhale, fold forwards, hands to the mat. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, come all the way up, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up, we'll build on that. Exhale, keeping breath and movement. Inhale, halfway lift. And let's step the left foot to the back of the mat. Low lunge. 
Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Breathing here. On your next exhale, soften the knees and breathe in. Step the left foot between the hands, low lunge. Exhale, step the right foot forwards, forward fold. Inhale, come up to stand, reach the arms up, look up. Exhale, hands heart center. Second side, breathe in, look up. Exhale, fold forwards. Breathe in, halfway lift and step the left, the right foot back, low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Exhale, softening the knees slightly, and then as you breathe in, step the right foot between the hands, low lunge. As you breathe out, step the left foot forwards, come into your forward fold. And then breathe in, come all the way up to stand, reach the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, hands heart centre. We'll build on that some more. Breathe in, look up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift the chest and step the left foot back at the same time. Exhale, step back to your downward facing dog. This time keep moving, breathe in and roll through the spine to bring the shoulders over the wrists, high plank. And then exhale, lower yourself down towards the mat, either to a chaturanga or lower the knees and lower all the way down to the mat. And then we're going to come up either to your baby cobra. Thighs down, just lifting the heart, or come up to your upward facing dog. Exhale, press into the mat, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Breathing here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. And exhale, soften the knees slightly. And then as you inhale, step the left foot between the hands, low lunge. Exhale, step the right foot forwards, come into your forward fold. And then breathe in, come all the way up to standing, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands heart centre. Second side, breathe in, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold forwards, hands to the mat. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine, step the right foot back, low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep the flow going, breathe in, roll forwards to your high plank. Option to drop the knees, lower all the way down, or come to your chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, coming up to your upward facing dog or your cobra. Broad across the collarbones. Exhale, lift the hips, come to your downward facing dog. Breathing here. Exhale, soften the knees. Inhale, step the right foot between the hands. Exhale, step the left foot forwards, come into your forward fold. And breathe in, come all the way up to standing, reach the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart centre. We'll keep moving. Inhale, come into your chair pose, reach the arms up, send the hips back. 
Exhale, fold forwards, hands to the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, hands to the mat, step or jump back to your high plank, move your body down towards the mat, all the way onto your chaturanga. Coming into your cobra or your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot between the hands and lift the arms all the way up to the ceiling. Come all the way up. Exhale, drop the back heel open to your warrior two. Breath and movement. Breathe in, hands come down to the mat. Exhale, step back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward between the hands. Reach the arms all the way up to the ceiling. Come all the way up. Exhale, drop the back heel, open the arms to your warrior two. Inhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Exhale, step back down, facing dog. One more on each side like that. Stepping the right foot forwards, coming all the way up, high lunge, breathe in. Exhale, open up to your warrior two. Inhaling, hands to the mat, step uh, in. And then exhale, step back to your downward facing dog, sorry. Inhaling, step the left foot forwards, reach the arms up, come up, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hands to the mat. Exhale, step back down and facing dog. Breathing here, it's actually easier to do than to say Take a few breaths to recenter. And then we exhale, soften the knees, gaze up to the top of the mat, walk, step, or jump the feet forwards as you breathe in. Exhale, fold the body down. And then inhale, come back to your chair pose. Sink the hips back and down. Lift the chest, reach the arms up. And then come to stand, bring the hands to your heart center. We go again, sink back to your chair pose, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, high plank, low plank, or lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in, step the right foot between the hands, come up to that high lunge again. Breathing out, open to your warrior two, this time we stay here. Breathing in and breathing out. Really pressing out into the back edge of the back foot and grounding down into that front right foot. Reaching the arms out in two directions. Now one more inhale. And as you exhale, bring the right elbow to the right knee and start to reach the left arm up towards the ceiling. So we'll stay there reaching up towards the ceiling and take a moment to just lift through the right side of the body, through the lower part, the lower side of the body. And then we keep that good strong alignment and then reach the left arm towards the front of the room. So we find that nice long straight side angle pose from the back edge of the left foot, right up to the left fingertips. You can stay here, or you can sink down even more deeply in the legs and bring the right hand down to the mat too. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out, bring both hands down to frame the front foot. And then we're gonna step back into our three-legged dog. Reach the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. 
We're going to stack the hips and bend the right knee so you can really find an opening in that right hip. Find a stretch that feels really good in your body. And then start to bring that right foot all the way back between the hands. Breathing in, come all the way back to your warrior two. This time, straighten into the right knee, send the hips towards the back of the room, reach forwards with the right hand until over into your Trikonasana. So the right hand comes either down to the shin or moves further down towards a block if you have one or the mat. And we still have that sense of lifting through the torso, reaching up into the left fingertips. Breathing here. On your next exhale, we're starting to bring the left hand all the way down to the mat. Both hands frame the front foot and we step the left foot in slightly. And we're coming to our pyramid pose. So think about drawing the right thigh up towards the right hip to square the hips off. The hands might be down to the shin. Or maybe they might reach the mat. Or if there's even more space, they might move even further down towards the back foot. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Start to bend into that right leg, send the weight into the right foot. As you breathe in, come all the way up to stand and draw the left knee all the way up in front of you. Bring the hands up to your heart center, find a little mini balance. And then as you bring the left foot down to the mat, reach both arms up towards the ceiling, sink the hips back. We're back in our chair pose, which can only mean it's the second side. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, hands to the mat, step or jump back to your high plank, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in, step the left foot between the hands. Come up to your high lunge. Breathing out, opening to your warrior two. Staying here, finding good, strong alignment, pressing out through the back edge of the back foot, grinding down through the left big toe, reaching out in two directions with the arms and broad across the shoulder blades. On your next Exhale, bring the left elbow down towards the left knee. Right arm comes up towards the ceiling. And we find that sense of lift through the lower ribs. And we keep that as we start to move the right arm over towards the front of the room. Find that long side angle. And again, you can stay here. Or if you want to move more deeply into this pose, you can bring the, right, the left hand all the way down to the mat. But stay in a place where you can breathe comfortably. Two more breaths. And then on your exhale, start to bring both hands down to frame the front foot. Step back into your three-legged dog. So this time it's the left leg that moves up towards the ceiling. Stack the hips. So open the hips out, bend into the left knee. 
and find a stretch that makes you feel good. And then we're going to bring that left foot all the way back through to step between the hands. Opening all the way back out to our warrior two pose. Inhaling, straightening into the front leg, the left leg. Send the hips to the back and then reach forwards, tilting over into our trikonasana. Reaching up into the right fingertips. With that left hand moving down towards the shin or moving further down towards the mat. Breathe in here, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Two more breaths. And then as you exhale, start to bring both hands down to bring the front foot. We're going to step the right foot in slightly. So we rearrange the legs a little bit to come into our pyramid pose. So on this side, to stop that tendency of the hips swinging over towards the left, we draw the left thigh up towards the left hip, and then we fold forward. So the hands are coming down to maybe rest on the shin, or maybe come further down towards the mat. And then to move even more deeply, we might take the hands even further back towards the back foot. Breathing here. As you exhale, start to bend into the left leg, send the weight down into that left foot, and then breathe in, come up to stand on the left foot, bring the right knee up in front, little mini balance, bring the hands to the heart centre, and then this time we just come to stand, take a breath in, and a breath out. So we'll move into a little balance sequence. So just close the eyes for a moment. Try to just connect with the feet. They're a long way away, all, all the way down there. So see if you can notice the soles of the feet, the texture of the mat, the temperature of the mat, all these little tools that we have that can just bring us down into our body a little bit more clearly, a little in a more connected way. We're going to send the weight into the left foot. I'm going to pick up the right knee and come into Garudasana. So we're picking up the right knee, crossing at the knee, and then maybe we can cross at the ankle too. And with the arms, the right arm comes underneath the left arm. And we're bringing the backs of the hands together, or maybe we can cross at the wrists and bring the palms together too. Then we're sinking even more deeply and reaching the fingertips up towards the ceiling, keeping the shoulders soft. So no hunching in the shoulders. You should feel poised. Breathing here. We're going to do some moving through our balance. So start to straighten into that left leg. Draw the right knee up towards the elbows. And then we're going to step that right leg all the way to the back of the mat and drop the right heel, turning the right toes out slightly. So we, our legs are in a warrior one position. But we keep the arms as they are. Breathe in, reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling and lift the chest. So thinking about the beginning when we lifted the chest towards the ceiling but we didn't crush into the back. We've got that same sense of lifting and lengthening. As you exhale, bring the torso back upright. Release the arms, bring the arms all the way out towards the sides, 
reach them up towards the ceiling to come into a more traditional warrior one. Take the gaze up towards the thumbs. And then we're bringing the hands to the heart centre, sending the weight back into that left foot, lifting the right knee out to the side and come into a tree pose. Just a simple tree pose at the top of your mat. And then we bring both feet down. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. And we'll try it on the other side. So close the eyes again. I just realised I didn't tell you to open your eyes uh, before the last sequence. So I hope you didn't do that with your eyes closed. That would have been really hard. So. This time, close your eyes. Try to just find that connection with the soles of the feet. I like to think about the temperature of the mat underneath my feet. It really brings me into the moment. Okay, blink the eyes open. So sending the weight into the right foot this time, lifting the left knee. So we're crossing the left knee over the right, and then maybe we can tuck that foot back around the back of the calf too. The left arm comes underneath the right, and the backs of the hands are together, or maybe we can cross at the wrists and bring the palms together too. And then we're going to sink down, and at the same time reach the fingertips up. Breathing in. Finding that feeling of poise. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. And we'll try and move through these balances. So breathe in, straighten into the right knee, lift the left knee up towards the elbows. And then as you exhale, we're sending that left leg towards the back of the mat, dropping the heel down, turning the toes out, bending into the front knee. And then we breathe in and lift the chest towards the ceiling, reach the fingertips up too. And then bring the torso back upright again. Bring the arms all the way out to the sides, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. So we're either reaching through the fingertips with the arms parallel with the hands parallel or closing the palms. And then in one smooth movement, we send the weight into the right foot, bring the hands to the heart centre, and lift the left leg up into tree pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more, inhale, exhale, bring both feet down, breathe in, reach the arms up, exhale, fold forwards all the way, bring the hands to the mat, bend the knees as much as you need to, step the feet hip distance apart and then wrap hands around opposite elbows and just take a moment for a little ragdoll. When we practice balances, because of all that focus and concentration, sometimes tension builds in the body. So just take a moment to let some of that go. Take an inhale. And then a sigh or flutter the lips to exhale. And bring the hands to the mat. I'm going to breathe in, lift and lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. And we can go through a vinyasa, or we'll just step back to our down dog. So if you're going through your vinyasa, you might take a lunge, or you might step straight back to your, down, uh, to your high plank. And then either any of those options, a low plank, or moving all the way down to the mat, and a baby cobra, or an upward facing dog. And then we exhale. And now everybody should be in their downward facing dog. So you're going to come to 
sit. So we take the gaze to the top of the mat, soften the knees. And we're going to take a little jump to bring the feet up towards the hands. We're going to cross at the ankles and then lower the hips down towards the mat. Nice easy way of bringing ourselves down. And bring the legs out in front of you. And then lift the shins so that they're parallel with the mat. So this is good. This is a good option with the fingertips down. Or we could bring the arms alongside the legs. Or we could straighten the legs and come into a full Navasana. I'm going to take five breaths. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, three. Breathe in. Lift the chest. Exhale, four. Last one. Breathe in. Exhale, five. Cross at the ankles. Plant the hands down onto the mat in front of you. Step back to your high plank. And then we have an option for another vinyasa. Or we lift the hips into our downward facing dog. So if you're doing your vinyasa, it's a low push up. And then inhaling to a baby cobra or an upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. And then everybody breathe in, roll forwards to a high plank. And this time, bring the forearms down to the mat. So bring the elbows underneath the shoulders, the hands out in front. And take the gaze just to, uh, beyond the top of your mat. And we try to keep everything steady, mind and breath, as we stay here. Just for a few breaths. And then one more breath. And then lower the thighs down, the knees down. And then start to move into your Sphinx pose. So untuck the toes, so the tops of the feet are down to the mat. You might need to adjust the forearms slightly, move them slightly more forwards. Or they might be quite happy staying underneath the shoulders and lift the chest and do your Sphinx pose. Take the gaze forwards and similar to our Garudasana, our Eagle pose, find a sense of poise as you stay here, lifting and lengthening through the front of the body and the back of the body. And we start to tuck the toes, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, press into the hands, send the hips back towards the heels. Try to keep that length through the torso as you power through the legs to lift the hips back up to your downward facing dog. Take a breath there, breathe in and breathe out. soften into the knees, take the gaze forwards. You're going to do this same little jump towards the hands, jump the feet towards the hands, crossing at the ankles and lowering the hips down to come to a seat. And then we're going to go again, lifting the legs up. So take your option, you can either keep the hands down, have the hands in line with the legs, or straighten into the legs. And five breaths, breathe in. Breathe out one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, it's only five breaths in a lifetime, don't worry, inhale, exhale four, last one, breathe in, exhale five, 
cross at the ankles, hands to the mat, step back to your high plank and lift to your downward facing dog. Take a vinyasa there if you want to, but we've done quite a few. So everybody arriving in downward facing dog. And then we breathe in and roll through the spine to come to our high plank, bring the shoulders over the wrist. And then we're going to lift the right leg off the mat. So we're in a three-legged high plank. And then we're going to squeeze the right knee towards the right elbow. Breathing in, and then exhale, send it back. And then squeeze the right knee all the way over to the left elbow. And then exhale, send it back. And then squeeze the right knee over towards the right elbow. And exhale, send it back. And then place the foot down and lift back up into your downward facing dog. And then this time we breathe in and lift the right leg out behind. Keep the hips square. And then we're going to bring that right knee and right shin all the way forwards into our pigeon pose. So bring the right knee behind the right wrist and the, left, uh, the right ankle behind the left wrist. Straighten out that left leg behind you. Careful not to sickle the left foot. And keeping some awareness of what's going on with the right leg. So keeping the right foot flexed just means we're keeping connected with what's happening with that right leg. And then we start to fold down just towards the mat towards our fore, uh, to our forearms. So we find that same sense of lifting and lengthening in the front of the body and in the back of the body. And breathe in here. Starting to bring the hands in underneath you. Tuck the left toe, lift the left thigh, and then press into the hands to come all the way back to your downward facing dog. You might like to lift that right leg all the way up, and this time stack the hips, bend into the knee. Or do what feels like it's a nice counter to that pigeon pose. And then we breathe in and roll forwards to our high plank again. And this time we lift the left leg off the mat. So we're in our three-legged plank. And then inhale, squeeze the left knee to the left elbow. Exhale, send it back. Left knee towards the right elbow. Exhale, send it back. And then into the left elbow again. And send it back and this time place it down and lift the hips up towards the ceiling. And now we lift the left leg out behind, keeping the hips square. And then we're going to bring the left leg into pigeon pose. So the left knee behind the left wrist, the left ankle behind the right wrist, sliding that right leg out behind. And then keeping an awareness of what's happening with that left leg and left knee. Folding forwards onto the forearms. So that there's a sense of an active lift through the torso. And just drop in to that strong connected breath again.
bringing the hands in underneath you. Tucking the right toe, lifting the right thigh, and then lifting that left leg all the way back into downward facing dog, or maybe lifting it into a three legged dog to find a nice little counter to bring some movement into the hips and maybe the knees too. And then take a breath there, bringing you back to the centre. Exhale, softening the knees, gaze to the top of the mat and then breathe in, walk or step or jump the feet forwards, cross at the ankles and come to sit. So just a couple more poses. So we're going to take a nice twist now. So keeping the two options, keeping the right leg straight and bringing the left leg in and stepping the left foot over to the outside of the right knee. So we might stay with that version with the legs or if it's okay with you, with your knees and your hips and the rest of your body and your mind, you can bend that right knee in and tuck the right heel in by the left hip too. So choose your option and then breathe in, reach the left arm, the right arm up towards the ceiling, sorry. And then twist over to the left. So we're bringing the outside of the elbow to the outside of the knee as we twist. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing here. twist, send both legs out in front of you and then set that up on the other side so we can either keep the left leg out in front, bending in the right leg, step the right foot to the outside of the left knee and then we either keep the legs as they are or you can tuck that left leg in as well. Choose your option, breathe in, reach the left arm up towards the ceiling as you exhale, twisting through the torso and bringing the outside of the left arm to the outside of the right knee. And then we twist and take the gaze over towards the back shoulder. twist, bring the legs out in front and then we're going to bring the soles of the feet to the mat and lower the spine all the way down to the mat, bringing the back of the body down to the mat, soles of the feet to the mat, knees up towards the ceiling. And just come into a simple back bend, little bridge pose. I'm going to do two. So if you practice deeper back bends in your practice regularly, you can take this deeper and come into four wheel. But I won't be queuing that or demonstrating that. So pressing into the soles of the feet. Have the feet close enough that you can just brush the backs of the heels pressing into the soles of the feet so we activate the legs and the glutes and lift the hips we we'll peel the spine off the mat and walk the shoulders in underneath you so we find that nice sense of lift through the front of the body again not compressing into the back of the body breathing in and breathing out and breathing here Next, 
exhale, start to walk the shoulders out from underneath you and roll the spine back down to the mat. And then you can either keep the knees neutral or you can just tick tock the legs from one side to the other. Just once each side, slowly dropping the knees over to one side and then over to the other. And then we do our second bridge pose. So pressing into the soles of the feet, engaging the legs and the glutes to peel the spine off the mat and walk the shoulders in underneath you. Interlace the hands underneath you if that's available. And breathing here. Start to move the shoulders out from underneath you as you exhale, roll the spine back down to the mat. And again, either keep the legs in a neutral position for a moment, or you can drop the knees over to one side. And then move them slowly over to the other side. Come back to bringing the legs back to the center if they're not there already. And then we hug one knee in towards the chest and the other knee in. And just take a little bit of a rock around the mat and then rock yourself up and down the mat until you come all the way up to, sit, to sitting. And we're extending the legs out in front for our final pose before Shavasana. We're going to come into uh, a deep forward fold just so that we have a sense of bringing ourselves back in after that quite strong expressive practice. So lifting up out of the pelvis and then sending the heart forwards as we fold the body over the legs. Bring the hands down either towards the shins, or maybe you can fold more deeply and take the hands towards the feet. But wherever you reach, keep the heart lifted. But then as you exhale, just lower the gaze down. So the purpose here is to just bring a little bit of quiet before we close our practice. So we're going to take quite a few breaths here. And taking a couple more breaths. And then as you breathe in, start to bring yourself slowly all the way back up. And then before you start to lay back down on the mat, take hold of anything that you need to make yourselves really comfortable in your shavasana. So a blanket or a pillow or a bolster. And then lay yourself all the way down, coming into whichever position makes sense for you as a position that you can really let go. 
So traditionally we have the legs straight out towards the outsides of the mat. But if having the knees bent, the soles of the mat, soles of the feet to the mat is more comfortable for you in your lower back, that's good too. Or any other variation that means that you can really allow yourself to sink down into the mat. Any position that allows you to rest. So we'll just take about a minute here for this video, but you might like to pause and take a bit longer. So take a deep inhale. And then sigh to exhale and let go. Slowly starting to just bring your awareness back. Start to take a more deliberate breath. And bring some movement to the fingers and to the toes. And turn that into a nice stretch, reaching the arms up and over the head, stretching right out into the toes, and then roll over onto whichever side feels good. And when you're ready, bring yourself all the way up to find a seated position. Keep the eyes closed or the gaze lowered, bring the hands to your heart center. Just take a moment for some, for some gratitude practice. So seek out something that fills your heart. It might be a really big thing, like safety and security. Or something small. And breathe that in. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. Thank you. really hard to talk and do a strong practice at the same time. Thank you. I hope that was the long and strong that you wanted.